So as my my partner mentioned earlier, that um, there's nothing positive about lowering the drinking age to um, teenagers whose brains aren't fully developed yet. Um, 18 year olds are typically less responsible. Um, they are entering a new phase of, independent, of independence from their parents through college or the workspace and are more susceptible to binge drink, risk sexual activities, and other responsible behavior. Um, the debate to lower the legal drinking age neglects the, neglects the overall well being of young adults and disregard, disregards that consuming alcohol is not a right, it is a privilege given with age. The arguments start stating that at 18, you're, at 18, you're given all these responsibilities for being an adult, such as voting or driving or ignoring the fact, is ignoring the fact that voting is a right, not a privilege, just like drinking and drink, just like driving is not a right and you must be of certain age. You're not, and yeah, okay. Uh, by learning the drinking age, it would be putting a, um, societal stamp on approval of approval on the damage that alcohol can cause in the developing brain. Emotional development, organization, and planning can all be affected by early and regular alcohol consumption. Though it's true that kids will still likely drink, that doesn't mean society needs to approve of that decision. Again, I'd like to mention that since states began setting the legal age at 21, the law has been one of the most studied in history. The evidence is overwhelming. More than 50 high-quality scientific studies all found that 21, the, having 21 as the MLDA saves lives, both off and off the road. Um, alcohol is most commonly used and abused drug among youth in the United States. Excessive drinking is responsible for more than 4,300 4, deaths among underage youth each year and cost the U.S. $24 billion in economic costs in 2010. So lowering the age doesn't really solve any problems. Um, instead, it just opens up the doors at an earlier age to all these negative things about drinking. Um, some might argue that it means might be part of their culture, but that's not another reason, that's not enough a uh, convincing reason to accept um, these negative outcomes that come with drinking. Um, drinking also causes violent behavior. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving in 2010, the highest drunk driving rates were found amongst the ages of 21 to 25 and 18 to 20. After the age of 25, the drunk driving rates decreased. Um, according to the, okay, so um, alcohol, AUD, alcohol use disorder, uh, more than 15 million people struggle with this disorder in the U.S., but less than 8% of those receive treatment, receive treatment. More than 65 million Americans report binge drinking in the past month which is more than 40% of the total of current alcohol users. Teen alcohol, uses, use, teen alcohol use kills 4,700 people each year. That's more than, than all illegal drugs combined. Drunk driving costs the U.S. more than 